Before I jump on this next call, does anybody have any questions? Oh, Veronica, you're back. <laughs> I am back. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Awesome. So you needed, um, you it was a cash on cash return that you weren't uh, following? Yes. Okay. So do you know the seven parts of the entry fee? Yes. Okay. So you take your net cash flow. Yeah. Right? You multiply it by 12. So whatever you would make annually. Yeah. And then you divide that number by your by your entry fee. And that's divide your cash on cash. entry fee. Yep. And that's your cash on cash return. Okay. And what about for Airbnbs? Yeah, that's it's the same way. Oh, it's, it's the same, same way. way. Yeah, it's the same thing. So you take okay. your, your net your net cash flow for an Airbnb, multiply it by twelve, and then divide it by your your entry fee, and then that's that's your cash on cash return. Awesome, thank you. Can I just say how dope that past call was? It was good, um, right? Yeah, it was good. It was no, it was it was phenomenal. You were just planting seeds everywhere. I was like, people give this guy his flowers. And I'll be honest, because I, I don't like going into the vault. Okay, Sam. I, I I don't tend to go into the vault. I'll, like, jump on people's lives and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've watched more of your seller calls than I have of Pace. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, everything that I'm learning, I'm actually learning more from you. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've learned it from Pace and everybody that learned it from Pace. So... I, I, I'm I'm getting the the overflow of what he's teaching, but through you. So kudos wow. to you. Like I I, I'm super that. proud of you. I appreciate that a lot. I just I just have one question. My husband mm -hmm. always asks this question when people pitch anything to him, and he'll he'll always say, "Okay, that's that's the good side. Tell me what the bad side could be." Um. Okay. So with sub two. Like what are some what are some things that can go wrong that like if a seller was to ask the same question like That's what a is great something question. Yeah. yeah so I actually had a seller he told me the other day he's like yeah like um I really like this but it almost sounds too good to be true yeah right? and I'm like uh uh it's not too good to be true right mm -hmm. because there's there are risks right so one what if the bank can call the loan due yeah right. The bank can call the loan due, um, which isn't a huge problem, right? Like we we have ways to get around it, yeah. but it is a problem. Yeah. Right. Um, it, it could be an issue. So that's one. Um, two. So we could get abducted by aliens and uh, <laughs> not be able to make a payment, right? And yeah, we we may pre-sign a deed in lieu of foreclosure, but um, the reality, not every state accepts that for one, and two. It's not as easy as just saying, hey, I want this, and it gets deeded right back to you, right? Mm -hmm. There are some some steps that the seller would have to follow to to get that done. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's two. Um, what other issues? Can, can anybody else? We have some some creative wizards in here in the chat. Can anybody else think about any, uh, any other problems? I know that those are two main ones that come to my head. Um, what else? Could it be? Um, that's really, that's really it. Um, everything else we really, really covered, right? Like they'll get added as additionally insured on the insurance um, and stuff like that, right? Like if uh, I had a seller, he got me one time, right? He's like, um, well, what happens if you know you do miss a payment, and what if the house is trashed at that point, right? And I'm like, that that's a risk you have to take. Right? I really never come back for it. But like, there's not much that we could do at that point, mm -hmm. right? If that were to happen. But these are all worst case scenarios. Yeah. Like, obviously, you want to put things in place to where um, that doesn't happen. But you know, things can definitely go wrong. Mm -hmm. Things can definitely go wrong. Yeah. Um, like Dion said, come to the virtual office. Do you have that link? No. I put the here. I'll put the link in the in the side chat. Um. We're in the virtual office just about every single day. Like my whole team is in there. They're making calls. Um, I make calls in there. Beyond in there every day. Right. And like Kesson said, having insurance overcomes that objection. Okay. Right? So even if the, the house is trash, like even having insurance. So like, yes, there are risks, but we have responses and we have 
protocols that really minimize those risks, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, save save this link here. This okay. virtual office. Um, anybody in here making calls, we get it in in the virtual office. And shout out again to Keston who, who put that together. Like we're in there every single day making calls and just putting it work. Okay. All right. I, I will definitely jump into the virtual office. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you uh, so much, Joe. Let me know if I can send you coffee or energy drinks or anything to keep you going. But you look like you're having fun. You look like it's it's no problem to go 10 hours. So Yeah, this is, this is definitely fun. It's definitely okay. fun. It doesn't even feel like it's been two hours already. Yeah. You guys are, are making it fun for me. Like 56 people in here. I had no clue 56 people were going to be watching. So I, okay. I am grateful for that. And I'm about to go hard, as hard as I can go for the rest of these this next six hours. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> See you. All right. Bye. All right. Let's jump into some more calls, man. I need some more deals. Who did we call last? We called 713. Let's call Antonio. That 202 number. Hello. Hello, Antonio. Yes. What's up, man? This is Daryl. Daryl. Daryl, which one? Daryl, you were speaking with uh, Nate on my team about this property on Hattie Street. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? Nothing, just um, getting ready to go to a meeting. Yeah, you have you have time to talk about this house quick, like ten minutes. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Well, um, I have the job. I have the fun job of you know sitting behind a desk all day, underwriting deals, seeing which ones we're gonna buy every week. Um, Nate said you have this property on Hattie Street that you wanted to sell. So I just needed to get a bit more information to see if we're a good fit. Well, like what I told him, we wanted one eighty, but I uh, wonder if I got with him. I texted some. There's so many people been calling me about this and want it. Yeah. And I I went uh, down to one sixty. Down to one sixty. What is it? What is it worth? You think all fixed up? All fixed up in the area. Let me tell you, it's less than five minutes from downtown. It's a boring area. It's a hot area. Everybody's uh, building brand new, beautiful houses. Mm -hmm. And it's it's uh, what I've seen around there. It, it's uh, the houses around there go for two eighty, three hundred thousand, three twenty, depending oh, nice. on the size. But and they just um, build a huge, beautiful, oh, yeah, big right beside. That apartment, and that's what they're doing, building all. Um, for some reason, everybody's moving over there and, and building big, beautiful houses. Mm, um, I got you. You didn't think about you didn't think about doing that yourself. Yes, yes, but at the same time, now that I I was working from home for a while, mm -hmm. so it was pretty easy to manage. Now I fly out every Monday and fly back in every Friday. And I got my hands full with this job that I need to take care of my job because that's what my wages and benefits and my uh, pension and 401k and all that. I got gotcha. you. So I don't want to, I, I can't let, let my foot loose on this and lose all that. You know what I, mean? I got gotcha. you. You so said you're flying out. Are you in, are you in DC? I mean, I, uh, the office is in DC. Uh, let me tell you what I do. I'm an international union rep. Mm hmm. My office, my office, the office is in Washington, D.C., but I work at a region five, mm -hmm. which covers Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, Louisiana. Uh, hell, I don't know. The whole South region. Yeah. And so it's an international union. It's one, got 1.3 million members. So I get called to different assignments. Right now I'm in the... Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, nice. And so you travel a lot. I fly in every Monday, depending. Like, this is far, so I fly out every Monday and fly back in on Fridays. I got you. Because I, I live in Laurel, Maryland. You know where that's at? Mm. 
It's like is that by the District of Columbia. Or yeah, it's like thirty. It's, I'm like right in the middle of DC and Baltimore, like thirty minutes from me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've 